Hello ladies and gents. Um, I had somebody suggest to me um, when using the uh, rotary subwoofer um, as an example I should um, put something to in front of it uh, to show how the airflow works on the um, on the subwoofer uh, which is a great idea it's a very good example actually um, so I'm, uh, I'm going to do that right now um, so basically uh, this example is going to show um, the airflow of the um, the subwoofer it works exactly the same like I said in the other videos um, like a normal subwoofer the driver or speaker cone um, moves backwards and forwards and sends the sound wave to the listener this works in exactly the same way um, but uses uh, blades instead to move airflow as it more moves more uh, volume of air really so I'm going to quickly show a an example of that so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a, tel a 12 Hertz uh, sine wave through right now I'm just gonna play that okay so don't know if you can see that you can can you see that yeah okay so that's 12 Hertz I have with me the almighty Michael Jackson bad vinyl cover uh, just gonna spin this up 14 Hertz oh. the frequency you drive uses 14 Hertz um, and that tra translates roughly into 14 times 60 which gives you the RPM so here we go see it wobbling around there do it in front see this proves move that out of the way and that one it proves how much airflow um, this actually whoops takes okay so that was uh, 12 Hertz you can't really see it so much with the lower frequencies uh, for example 5 you can see it moving there still hold on there we go do that one again for you 5 Hertz this time Yeah. See, this is the reason why it has to have another room for the volume of air to be pushed into the listening room and back into the volume of air room, the normal room, uh, whichever room that might be. Um, because it forces the air backwards and forwards like a speaker does but with a lot more volume of um, which is why it's so efficient just gonna stop that right there so there that was my quick example of um, the airflow of the uh, the rotary subwoofer as you can see clearly it um, has a higher volume of airflow therefore making it very efficient <laughs>